bienvenidos a Yuan Mon Games. Hoy os traigo The Whispered World. Os dejaré un enlace en la descripción por si os lo queréis descargar gratis y empezamos. It may make you sad to hear it, but this is the last story I'm going to tell you. I know you like to hear funny stories with jolly people and a happy end. But I don't have the strength for that anymore. What difference would it make if I lied to you? Well, my last story takes place in a land far away, a land that is about to die. It begins in the autumn forest. This is the story of Sadwick, the sorrowful clown. Sadwick is sleeping uneasily, like every night. And he doesn't even know that he'll destroy the world in the course of just a few days. What a nightmare. Every night it's the same. I can hardly remember the last time I had a decent night's sleep. Spot? Where could Spot be? He usually comes to see me in the morning. That's no use. The handle is broken off. The rug may look fluffy, but I'm not touching it. I don't want to smell like a dead bear when I go into the woods. There's only that stupid note in there. Pen made me write down all my chores. Pure harassment, if you ask me. Oh. Ah, what the heck. I'd better collect the note anyway. Maybe I'll find a fire somewhere. Ben has given me a lot of tedious chores for today. <sighs> Why did I even bother to get out of bed? What was that note again? Ah, yes. I remember now. It's where Ben sketched out how the human cannibal act is supposed to work. It's so unfair. He can even draw better than me. Uh -huh. Ah! Ah! 
Oh, boy. That was close. Ben will pay for this. I could have croaked. I can't reach it. That's too bad. It's not a key that's missing. It's the handle. Well, either that or a better idea. If I could only reach it from the inside. Sadwick, are you awake? Come here at once. The day's already wasting away. Ha! <sighs> right. Another happy day in the colorful world of the circus. Spot! Don't just lie around like that. What's wrong with you? What do you think's wrong with him? Maybe he's sick. The plague. Or food poisoning. Don't talk such nonsense. Worm fungus? Blue pox? It could be anything. He's thirsty, Sadwick. That's what happens if you don't carry out your chores properly. Spot can take it. He's tough. You've got a lot to learn. Caterpillars don't grow very old. Not if you treat them like this anyway. You'd better get used to the idea. You're just saying that to annoy me. I'm serious. You better give him something to drink. Yeah, whatever, Ben. Come on, let's go, Spot. We'll get you something to drink. And after that, maybe we can finally do something useful. All right, Spot. Time to have a drink. There you go. This chair's rocking days are long over. Hello, Grandpa. Oh, hello, Ben. You look different. Is, is that a new hat you're wearing? I'm not Ben, Grandpa. I know, Ben. <laughs> they don't make hats like they used to anymore. I'm Sadwick. When I was a little clown, we used to wear real hats with big fern bubbles. Sadwick, your grandson. I could knock out a full-grown ox with my bubbles. Ah. <sighs> I know that poor animal, but that's the way people liked their hats back then. Now, what can I do for you, Ben? I wish you wouldn't always mistake me for Ben. I know. <laughs> the world is a veil of tears when you're young. Everybody's against you. But there are worse things than tight hats and pinching shirt sleeves, you know. I'm paying close attention to your words of wisdom, like always. When you're old, there are tight pains and pinching pantaloons, too. And this, my boy, is the most important lesson to take into old age. Loose-fitting pantaloons are the most loyal friends you could ever ask for. Heavens, did he manage to bring his pantaloons into the conversation again? I had one of those terrible nightmares again. There's a cute saying I remember from my boyhood on that very subject. <laughs> what was it? There, I forgot. You mean the old saying, dreams are ten a penny? What? That's nonsense. Dreams are not ten a penny. I once knew a guy who, who sold dreams at considerably higher prices. 
Now that I think of it, uh, that guy might have been me. Who in the world bought dreams? No one. Well, that was where the plan fell short. Ah, but it was worth a try. There are always fools who spend money on any little nonsense. Say, Grandpa, you've seen a lot of things in your time, haven't you? <laughs> you can say that again. You can ask me whatever you, um, uh, whatever you can carry. What do you know about the Autumn Forest? Ah, the Autumn Forest is uh, it's an enchanted place full of mystery. Strange creatures dwell there, but, but not as many nowadays as in the past. <laughs> in ancient times, lots of diverse tribes lived there. Ah, you can still find traces of them in, in, in ruins and in, in caves. When I was a child, half the valley was submerged underwater. Now, there's only that little lake with the island. That's all I can remember at the moment. That's not surprising. You'd even forget the color of your hair if you didn't look in the mirror regularly. <laughs> but I still know <laughs> that it starts with a G. That doesn't count. You're just guessing. But I'm right. Why? Yes, um... See? Uh, that's, uh, that's all I need to know. Uh, please let it be green. Do you know anything about nightmares and visions? I know enough that I can't give a profound opinion about them. Only real oracles can interpret dreams. And they're the only ones that can tell you if it was a vision of some sort. I once thought I had a vision too, you know. Ah, yes, an angel appeared and told me that one day my pantaloons would save the world. <laughs> I was so excited. I went on pilgrimages, gathered disciples around me and performed services. And all that without ever changing my pants. Finally, a, a, a gypsy told me that it had only been a nightmare. Oh, Ben, you can hardly imagine how embarrassed I was. Five years in a monastery simply because I had chili casserole before bedtime. <laughs> you know what? I'll just look it up myself. Yes, yes, yes. Couldn't hurt. I might still seem quite bright in the head. <laughs> hey, but sometimes the details get a little mixed up. See you later. Cheer up, Ben. Don't mess with Bruno, unlike you. He's already done his work for today. He's had enough already. Bruno and Spot get along quite well. Bruno won't eat Spot for dessert, and Spot stopped biting Bruno's toenails. Ben. Hi, sleepyhead. How often do I have to tell you? Rehearsals start at sunrise. It's not my fault. I slept very badly last night. Slept badly? What's that supposed to mean? Not those nightmares again. They're not ordinary nightmares. They always feel so real. The earthquake, the craggy rocks. Good heavens, Sadwick. Now pull yourself together. You're a clown, a jester. An entertainer! You're supposed to make people happy! Not depressed? Can't someone else play the clown? Ah, uh, who knows? This stretch of land is just as deserted as all the others we recently passed through. People are leaving the land. They fear the end of the world. 
We should offer entertainment that's more sophisticated. And what do you want to do instead? Lion taming? <laughs> Just face it, Sadwick. You're not talented enough for the big acts. You can't juggle. You can't throw. You can't even perform your human cannonball act properly. I'm just fed up with honking noses and farting sounds. Why can't we provide high-class entertainment instead? <laughs> and what would that be? You're right. A circus is the only worthwhile form of entertainment. Listen, we make good money without producing anything. What could possibly be more intelligent? How about theater? Oh, please. Spare me your poems. Believe me. Nobody needs your cerebral whining. I sneak to the mirror in the darkest of night. I stare at my image and just see the clown. The louder he laughs, the harder I fight. Oh, sinister world full of hardship and frowns. Well, Sadwick, that's exactly why nobody likes you. If you really must write poems, why not some funny limericks? Limericks? There once was a young circus clown who imagined the sky falling down. He imagined so bad that it made him quite sad. On his face, he wore always a frown. <laughs> okay, no poems then. But... How about philosophy? Ah. Theater? Nobody understands those pompous blowhards. Do you know why people love the circus? Because they don't have to think too hard. Ah, I get it. If somebody is in search of a real knucklehead, he can come straight to me and... His search is over. Hey, wait a second. All right, all right. The theater idea is off, but... I'd like to do something intelligent is all. What kind of thing? What could be more entertaining than getting to grips with the very nature of existence? Not getting to grips with it. Do you have more of those terrific ideas? My nightmares must mean something. Spare me your sarcasm. Nobody likes that kind of humor now. Go and practice your burping alphabet. Okay. Or the human cannonball act. Is there anything I can do? Nonsense. Dreams are for losers. The same with your books and your poems. It's time you got a grip on reality. The serious side of life. Does that ring any bells? Hmm. You mean colorful balls and makeup? Geez, Sadwick. You're a real pain. You need to wake up and be productive. Why am I always getting lost? Don't tell me you forgot your chores again. I even wrote them down for you. Oh, those. Uh, that's not what I meant. I'd like to do something more important with my time. Something... Meaningful. Not this depressing day-to-day -day routine. The sooner you do what you're supposed to, the sooner you can... Hey! Don't you roll your eyes like that, young man. Responsibility is still responsibility. Preferably, you start practicing your human cannonball act. Or take a good look around the area. Maybe you can find somebody who wants to see our performance. I'd rather do the latter. Yep. See you. And don't forget, keep smiling. You're a clown. Remember?
Hmm, that could actually work. Hey, Spot, I need your help. We have to get this thing open. Do you think you can do that? All right, go for it. That was none too bad. Hey, isn't that Ben's casket? I wonder if that's the key to Ben's casket. It matches. The casket is open. Now I shouldn't get lost anymore. Where are you going? I want to look around the forest. Don't get lost. Don't worry. What a... <laughs> I could have told you that. You and your sense of orientation. Now it's empty. Hello, Grandpa. Ah, hello, Ben. Is your hat still too tight? I want to take a look around the autumn forest, but I keep getting lost. If, if, if you want to go for a walk, have you given Spot something to drink yet? Yes, Grandpa. All done and finished. Well, you've earned a little walk then. Ah, but be careful. The autumn forest is big and dense. Very, very, very much like my beard. You can very easily get lost in it. <laughs> Again, very much like my beard. I already noticed that. You'd better take my comb. I, I mean compass with you. Hmm, now where did I put it? Hmm. I know it's in the trailer. Under the bed. Great. Thanks, Grandpa. Under the bed, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Under the bed. I like to take a pinch late at night. Take a pinch? Off the compass? Yes, I know. It's unhealthy. But at my age, well... <laughs> Are you sure you're talking about the compass? Don't you mean compote? Compote? What are you insinuating? Did you nose around my notes? Besides, if I planned anything like that, it would be none of your business. You must consider all of the consequences of such a compote, you know. A compote with broad ramifications? Yes, so you better keep your nose out of it. Oh, Grandpa, you're talking about a complot. You're planning a complot. A complot? I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't need to plan a complot. I just made one not well, ten minutes ago, right behind the trailer. That's compost. Impossible. I carry the compost with me all the time. The compost? <laughs> it's in my pocket. I'm pretty sure it is. Just a second. Here it is. Grandpa, that's not compost. That's the compass. Really? Then where's the compost? W would you mind checking under my bed? Sure. Just remind me again later, okay? Now, I'm taking a walk in the autumn forest. But be back for lunch, you hear? No, thanks. I really don't care for petroleum soup. W what's that? Oh, nothing really. Thanks, Grandpa. See you later. Cheer up, Ben. Oh dear, he's getting more and more difficult each day. Ah, he's still young. 
He hasn't found his responsibilities in the world yet. He should carry out his responsibilities to the circus first, before looking for new ones. Oh, by the way, I hate you, both of you. I just wanted to get that off my chest. Never mind me. Ben is in a bad mood today. Oh, shut up, Grandpa. Just be quiet, will you? Yikes! There's somebody there. A stranger. I wonder what he's doing here. Hello. Ah! Oh, thank heaven. You are not an askew, obviously. I'm not a what? Oh, nothing. Everything's fine. At last, I've met someone. Are you from around these parts? No, we're just passing through with our circus. Damn, I thought it was too good to be true. Who are you? Why do you want to know? Are you one of the askew spies? Could be. Ah. Nonsense. <laughs> of course you're not an Askew. I'm sorry. I'm just a little nervous. My name is Bobby. I've come from far away. Huh? Oh, yes. I am a Chusky. You know? And you are? I'm Shadwick. My family owns a small traveling circus. I understand. So, you're some kind of clown. We're in the performing arts trade. A clown, then. You don't look particularly happy, if I might say so. Chasky? What does that mean? What? You don't know the Chasky? The word means messenger. We perform important tasks on behalf of the king. Chasky. Now I remember. Grandpa told me about you, but you can't be a Chasky. Oh yeah? Why not? Chasky, our noble messenger is to Corona. Oh yeah? And where do you think I'm coming from? Well, you rather look like someone coming from a... <laughs> That's right. Directly from the royal court. You? From Corona? I don't believe you. You should. I am a Chasky. And I'm on a mission on behalf of the king. Chasky are brave heroes. <laughs> That's right. What do you think brought me here? I'm in the middle of a hair-raising adventure. The fate of the world lies in my hands. You're exaggerating. Not a bit. There have never been situations more desperate. I'd rather not go into details. You'd never be able to sleep at night if I did. Ha! Like that would make a difference. Chasky are skilled trackers. <laughs> Even though it may look that way, I'm not lost. I'm just not sure about where to go. That's all. Chasky are cheerful adventurers. Ha! That's good coming from you. Looking at you doesn't exactly fill me with joy either. I didn't sleep well. I suffer from nightmares. Nightmares, you say? Hmm. In fact, I don't really know much about the Chusky. Unfortunately, I haven't got the time to tell you about my daring adventures, which is a shame. They're full of suspense. Epic, too. And every now and again, there's a laugh or two included. Well, too bad. What exactly is your mission? Not that I'm really interested. Actually, it's a secret. But all right, I'll tell you. I'm carrying a precious and powerful artifact. The Whispering Stone. The what? Whispering Stone. Blistering Bone? The Whispering Stone! Why don't you listen? How could I with you mumbling like that? My mission is to take it back to Corona, to the King's Castle. Whispering stone? That doesn't sound very powerful. I don't know very much about it, but I do know that it's very important. Otherwise, the royal stones collection wouldn't be complete. It's not a joking matter. As far as I know, the king needs it to prevent the end of the world. 
And now I'm supposed to help you with your mission, right? <laughs> the clown wants to help a real Chasky with his mission. Now that's a good one. What? I'm sure I could be of some help. Impossible. I'm every bit as good as you. <laughs> At least you're a pretty good clown. Whatever. Okay, so do your stuff alone. Hey, hey! Take it easy. I understand that you're fascinated by my adventures. Ooh, yeah, well. But you simply don't know what you're getting involved with. The life of a Chasky is full of danger. You'll get yourself into big trouble. If you want to help me, you'll need to be 100% certain. I'm 100% certain, uh, sure. So, at least you've got guts. That's a good thing. But are you skillful enough to? I'm just as skilled as you are. If it's true, that'd be great. Skillfulness is one of the most important qualities of a Chasky. But I wonder whether you are optimistic enough. You strike me as being rather negative. Chasky are characterized by their incredible joyful nature, which gives us the energy to find a way out of even the most difficult situations. Are you really joyful enough? Of course. I'm a clown, after all. Right. <laughs> How could I ever doubt you? Very well, then. It looks like you meet the necessary requirements. Great. You see, I'm really desperate, and time is running out. Don't get your hopes up. I'm not very good at things like this. Usually things get more complicated as soon as I try to help. Hmm. That doesn't sound either brave or joyful or skillful. Maybe I should put your abilities to a test first. A test? Yes. You could go and fetch me something to eat. A nice fish would just do the trick. What? I'm supposed to catch a fish for you? I wanted to help you with your mission. If I want to play the lackey, I might as well go back to my family. Hold your horses. First, you show me what you can do. Bye catching a fish for me. Then, I'll fill you in on my mission. Do you think you can do that? Can't you catch something yourself? Ha! Huh? Of course I could. I'm a Chasky after all. But this is your assignment. Show me what you can do. Can't we just skip the fish part? No, Sadwick. I'm afraid not. I need to see what you're capable of before I can let you in on the path of the Chasky. The path of the Chasky. Good grief. I see great potential in you, but the mission is too important. I need to be sure that you have what it takes. Whatever. I'll manage somehow. I believe in you, Sadwick. Do you want to see the circus? What? Are you mad? Do I look like I have time for that kind of nonsense? You just go back to your circus, Sonny. I have to deal with the important things in this world. So the big responsibilities of this world are up to you? Now that's unsettling. Yes, indeed. And neither elephants nor colorful balls can prevent me from carrying out my mission. Not even cheerful chimps with hilarious hats. You don't happen to have chimps in your circus, do you? No. No, <laughs> of course not. And even if you had, I wouldn't have been interested at all. For I am a Chasky, and nothing can stop me from carrying out my mission. See you later. Later. The water looks downright cloudy. No, wait. That's just a reflection of my face.
I shouldn't get my things wet. At least, not as long as they're in my pocket. I don't want to die of an infected bladder. I once made a list of the most probable causes of my death. The bear's paw was listed number 212, 217, and 321 to 329. Oh boy, what am I doing here? It's just a branch. A branch. Exciting. Oh boy, what? it's just a... Hi, Ben. Oh, what do you want this time? You know anything about someone called Shana? Were there any kids with him? No, no kids. Did he look simple-minded and easy to impress? A bit simple-minded, maybe? Did he look rich? Not really. Then we're not interested in him. But I told him about my dreams and he... Sadwick, Sadwick, Sadwick. How often do I have to tell you? We're a traveling road show. We sell dreams to kids. And wealthy fools. But... And why not to anyone else? Because it doesn't pay off. Exactly. Because it doesn't pay off. Yep. See you. And don't forget, keep smiling. You're a clown. Remember? <sighs> You'll only soil them again. Hey, wait a minute. Ah, uh, hello, Grandpa. Hello, Ben. Is your hat still too tight? Say, Grandpa, you've seen a lot of things in your time, haven't you? <laughs> you can say that again. You can ask me whatever you, um, uh, whatever you can carry. Is there anything you can tell me about the Chasky? Oh, oh. The Chasky? Well, when I, when I was still wet behind the ears, I desperately wanted to become a Chasky, too. I don't want to become a Chasky. Nah, the Chasky are the, the messengers of the king. Brave adventurers were characterized by their cunning and courage. Their most outstanding quality is that they never lose their positive attitude, no matter how hopeless their situation might be. Aha! They're the complete opposite of you, Sadwick. Thanks, Ben. You're a great help. I think everyone has noticed already. Yeah, but I thought I'd just say it again. Don't, don't let him tease you. I'm sure you'd make a great Chasky. I don't want to be a Chasky. And Ben is right. I'd hardly qualify for the job. Don't be so hard on yourself. Everybody can change. I don't want to change, okay? You should try. It could only be an improvement. You know what? 
I'll just look it up myself. Yes, yes, yes. Couldn't hurt. I might still seem quite bright in the head. <laughs> hey, but sometimes the details get a little mixed up. See you later. Cheer up, Ben. The trap is empty. And that's how it should be. Fire dragons are flying sources of fire that tend to spontaneously self-ignite. Needless to say, Spot is crazy about the little blighters. I shouldn't get my things wet. At least, not as long as they're in my pocket. I don't want to die of an infected bladder. The water looks downright cloudy. No, wait. That's just a reflection of my face. I can't really catch fish with my bare hands. <sighs> no chance. I can't get near enough before they take flight. I'm too clumsy. Oh boy, what am I doing here? It's just a branch. I shouldn't get my things wet. I don't want to die. The island seems to be inhabited, but it's too far away to swim there. I'd rather leave him in there. It wouldn't be much fun to suck it through with a bottleneck for either of us. Cooking is one of Grandpa's tasks, not mine. Not that I didn't offer to cook, but Ben objected. It's a sign of how low his esteem for me is. I mean, petroleum soup? Seriously. <sighs> well, who would have thought? Those really are regular recipes. There goes my theory that Grandpa is preparing our meals from the fishing bait manual. Well, who would have thought? Those really are regular recipes. There goes my theory that Grandpa is preparing our meals from the fishing bait manual. Well, who would have thought? Those really are- There goes my- Cooking is one of Grandpa's tasks, not mine. Not that I didn't offer to cook, but Ben objected. It's a sign of how low his esteem for me is. I mean, petroleum soup? Seriously. <sighs> Unreachable, like so many things. Unreachable, like so many things.
Spot is not going into the soup, no matter how much Grandpa keeps bugging me. How about it, Spot? Care for some earthworm blood? <laughs> I thought so. Not even Spot likes Grandpa's eye candy, and he'll eat almost anything. Well, let's see. A measly dip net for a measly clown. <sighs> there. That'll work. Do you need your dentures, Grandpa? No, not really. We're having soup today. They'd just be in the way. Hey, that actually worked. Looks like the clumsy little brother finally accomplished something. I did it! I caught a fish! Ooh, yum! That's the first good news I heard in months. Will you tell me about your mission then? Of course. I'm a man who keeps his promises. But be warned, helping me will put you in great danger. The Asgil are hot on my trail. I shouldn't even be here anymore. Now, please, don't exaggerate. Hmm. You have no idea, have you? Well, are you sure you want to get involved with this? We've been there already. I'm absolutely sure. All right, then. Well, have you ever heard of Shana? Shana? No, never heard of her. Who's she supposed to be? She's an oracle, a kind of clairvoyant. And according to the legend, she lives somewhere in the autumn forest. But maybe it's nothing more than that. Just a legend. I've already searched until I'm half dead. I'm going to cancel my quest. I mustn't stay here too long. I've got a bad feeling that the Asgill are hot on my trail. Are the stories about Corona true? It depends. Which stories are you referring to? I heard that the king is dead. He's not dead, but he's very weak. I think the impending doom is getting to him. I heard Corona has fallen. Not yet, but the situation is growing more and more threatening. The Asgil have advanced up to the castle. The Asgil? Yes, a horrific strain of creatures. It's just a matter of time, I fear. I heard that the end is near. That's right, I'm afraid. The landscape around Corona has already started to fall apart. Like in my dream. You dreamed about that? Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good at all. Why do you say that? Oh, uh, no reason. Forget about it, will you? In fact, I've only heard rumors. Well, not everything one hears is true, but the situation is serious. Do you think my dreams are trying to tell me something? My brother Ben says I shouldn't worry. Yes, listen to your brother. Keep on dreaming. And pretend you never heard of the world's big problems. Yes, as if you never even met me. That's best for you. Just ignore the fact that the world is on the brink and we're all doomed. Aren't you exaggerating a bit? Oh, 
You think I'm exaggerating. It already started, Sadwick. The land is falling apart. The end is nigh. Like in my dream. That was your dream? Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good at all. Why? They're only dreams. Only dreams? Only dreams, he says. What if it's not? What if it's a vision? A vision? You think so? I admit, it's not very likely in your case. Only important people have visions. Kings, oracles, and Chasky. Nevertheless, the thought is unsettling. Say, about this Shana. Yes? What about her? What do you want from Shana? Corona is far away. Without help, it will take months to get there. I'm hoping that Shana can give me some advice. There must be a way to shorten the trip. An oracle? Can she interpret dreams as well? Of course. In that case, I have to meet her too. Maybe my dreams do mean something after all. Hmm. You could come with me. Really? That'd be great. I'll finally find out the meaning of my dreams. Provided, of course, we can find her. Where shall I start looking for her? The only thing I know is that she's supposed to live in a cabin in the middle of the autumn forest. But where exactly? I have no idea. I came down from the hills in the east. There's a good view of the valley and the whole autumn forest from there. But a cabin? Not a trace. The only things remotely resembling buildings are those ruins to the west. But I've already been there. A couple of columns and statues, that's all. Then there's that cave near the mountains. And that finally leaves the forest itself. Maybe you could get a better overview from that giant tree to the south. I can track those places on your map if you want me to. Well, at least that's a start. Enough of Shauna. Let's talk about something else. As you wish. What else is on your mind? See you later. Later. Contact me if you have new information about Shana. The island seems to be inhabited, but it's too far away to swim there. I shouldn't get my things wet. At least, not as long as they're in my pocket. I don't want to die of an infected bladder. One day, I'll end up being a bitter old drunkard. I'll teach Spot to open bottles then. <sighs> what fun. He's had enough already. He's had enough already. If only Spot could fly. He's had enough already. If only Sp Bueno, pues hasta aquí. Gracias por ver el vídeo.